in my initial videos, I said I wanted to see this mounted on an Ergotron R. I still want to see it mounted on an Ergotron R. Stick with me. We're going to mount this Dell canvas on an Ergotron R. Right here. Okay, so as well as the Dell canvas, which you already have seen, I have this. Yes, it is incredibly heavy. This is the Ergotron arm. And that's very, very cool and very, very heavy. <sighs> now, two things to think about when going for your Ergotron arm are the size of the device that you're putting on it and the weight of the device that you're putting on. Obviously, 27 inch is a very decent sized monitor and obviously the weight that I'll put right here is not as large as some other 27 inch monitors, uh, drawing tablets even, but you know it's still quite weighty. So you know um, you need to go for something more than just your basic monitor arm. I would suggest sticking with the Ergotron brand. Other brands haven't been tested as much, um, don't come with the same warranty. At the end of the day, do you want to spend a couple of grand on, you know, a Dell canvas and then stick it on the cheapest arm you can find? Before we really get into it, I want to show you what the finished Dell canvas looks like on the Ergotron arm. You know, just so you're not hanging around for ages and ages if all you want to see is the finished product. Obviously, I'd like you to hang around and see the unboxing of the Ergotron arm and see how it's all set up and listen to why this is such an absolutely awesome, great idea. But here's a few close-ups of the finished article and you can see why. This is such an awesome idea. And you can see how I've done it and kind of the cool, well, my cool work for one. But you can see why it's why it's such a cool thing and why it's so much better than just letting it sit on the desk. So hopefully you like that. Hopefully you can see why it's so much more usable than just having it there on your desk. Now I've got this sat on a much lower surface, but you can have this on your normal work surface and that way, you know, it's so much more usable as well. I've just got no more space on my desk, but I'm still standing and working. This is a supremely powerful Ergotron arm and I'm still leaning on the Dell canvas. This is probably the best Ergotron arm for any job. And this will still be totally usable on, say, the Wacom 32 inch as well. But that's another tutorial. So here we are, unboxing the Ergotron arm. Just my luck, I unbox it upside down. Still, I'll be. Unless you do an unboxing before you do your unboxing, you'll never know. As you can see, it comes with a uh, can we help, give us a call kind of leaflet, which is absolutely great. Fully illustrated instruction manual, and it is really, really helpful from beginning to end. There's a VESA mount in there. Now, that's handy for every other kind of monitor and uh, drawing tablet but we're not going to use that here all your nuts bolts screws are packaged individually this thing is so well packaged in there it's not going to get knocked about nothing's going to arrive damaged this uh that's a without going through the manual first i didn't know what that was it was obviously the main support for the back of the drawing tablet that is obviously the main support for the desk. I've seen that before on other Ergotrons. Everything is so well packaged, I couldn't believe it. This is one of the main support arms. Obviously everything's individually wrapped. I've ordered this in white rather than the chrome that I've had before. Just because my studio is mainly white, 
and it looks so nice in white. Oh, I can't believe how nice it looks in white. You know, really, personally, you know, you can get these arms in chrome as well, but Ergotron started doing all their arms in white, and personally, I think it looks so cool. You can see on my desk the difference between the white and the chrome. If you want to see the chrome, check out the other videos on my channel, but personally, yeah, I just love the new white look. You know, if I had all the money in the world, I'd probably replace the chrome Ergotron arms, but I'm not that flash. Here you can see the clips that allow you to hide all the cables, those videos, clips that I just showed you before. You know, you could see all the cables that were kind of hidden within the arms, and they looked absolutely, you know, great. Okay, so as well as your Dell Canvas and as well as your Ergotron, you are going to need one other thing to get this all put together, and that is this. A large box. No. That is what's inside the large box, and that is the Dell, Dell Canvas VESA adapter. Yes, it has its own Dell VESA adapter. Um, strange. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm down with that, actually. What they've done is, rather than build it all into the canvas, it's a separate piece. The back of some monitors are incredibly fragile. They've kept the weight of the canvas down as, as much as they can, and I understand that, that makes perfect sense, but to add stability when mounting it, they want you to use this VESA. This is the VESA bracket, and it screws on via four points to the Dell canvas. This is a back plate for hiding the cables. These all have little twist thumb screws, which are quite good. And there's serious mounting points. But all in all, this will add additional weight to the canvas. So now it's time to put all this together. So I've got my Dell canvas here, my Ergotron arm is unboxed, and my VESA adapter is unboxed as well. All I have to do now is go and follow the steps and, you know, kind of put it all together and get this thing looking absolutely fantastic. First stage, first stage is to clear the Dell canvas from here and set this up and get it all ready for the Ergotron arm putting up. Now that my workspace is entirely clear, I can go ahead and set up my Ergotron arm. This is the HX desk monitor arm. I've gone ahead and I've got this in white. All the instructions, I know this looks like a lot to go through, don't worry about any of this, but Ergotron's instructions are all fully illustrated, really easy to follow. There's no danger to missing any of this. This is really easy stuff you know a lot of this is just warnings and telling yourself to be careful and uh, telling you how things should move and you know so yeah it's all really really straightforward you know i'm gonna go ahead and skip to this point because i've done this uh, a fair few times because i've got a fair few ergotron arms already in my studio I've already checked off my parts list, but yeah, I'm ready to go ahead and set this up now. Part one of my instructions tells me to simply unwind these. Easy peasy. So there's no pole. And clamp this under my desk here. To install this arm, you just put the clamp on and attach the arm straight to the base. First thing to do is unscrew this little pin here grab your arm and put it straight into the base and then re-screw the pin and you've got free movement there's no up and down you just unscrew that pin and then unscrew the pin at the top of the arm as well grabbing the free moving arm and slotting that in to the bottom arm there and then all you have to do is tighten that pin there 
and you've basically got your arm pretty much done. Next we have to mount the VESA adapter from Dell on the back of the Dell canvas itself using these mounting holes on the back of the Dell canvas which first I thought were very strange. There's only about six on the back and the Dell canvas VESA has these great thumb screws so I don't have to go hunting out screws in a pack anywhere. And all I have to do is simply tighten these up and then follow it around with a screwdriver just to tighten them up. Then I simply hunt out my cables and go through the Ergotron arm, pass those through and then plug those all in. If you're using the USB-C cable that came with the Dell Canvas, you've only got one cable to worry about. Obviously you can use the power adapter as well. I'm using a HDMI cable. I'm not using the one that came with the uh, Dell canvas though you can do but I'm using super extra long ones so I can just you know hide all those cables down around my wall and uh, a super extra long USB A cable as well. So it looks like we've run into a snafu. The plate that's here to guard your cables it is optional of course but I have it there on top and my chunky HDMI cable is stopping it from closing. Um, not a big problem, just means that of course I can't have it on. Not the end of the world, doesn't cause any structural problems. but. It just means that if I did want it on, I'd have to cut a little piece out of this. Hmm. No, no. Uh, yeah. But other than that, the back plate fitted without a hint of a problem. I think this all would have worked perfectly and that back plate would have fitted perfectly as well, this piece would have fit perfectly had I have just been using the one USB-C cable. I am not using that cable though. I am using a myriad of cables. I am using a HDMI cable. I am using an old-fashioned USB-A cable. I am using the power adapter cable. Why? Because I need my cables to be over two and a half meters. Why? Because I'm running them down my Ergotron arm, round my wall, round the back of my desk. I'm hiding all of my cables. And when you hide all your cables, you need your cables to be a bit longer than normal. Plus, I've got my Wacom still plugged into my into my laptop. Um, when you do both of these things, you, yeah, sometimes you you need them to be, you know, you end up doing little workarounds as well. So, yeah, those are the little problems I'm running into. But if the worst thing that happens is I can't have that mounted on it, still I'll be moving on. So the next step is simply to place the mounting bracket or the mounting head onto the back of the VESA adapter and choose your screws. We have the normal screws and the thumb mounting screws here. I've gone for the normal screws because obviously they just take up a little less room at the back of the VESA adapter. Both are equally as strong but these just use the normal screwdriver and I'm placing those on pretty self-explanatory obviously the instructions will also tell you and this simply locks into place here and it just eases in it's got a couple of little guides there and click it's that simple obviously I've just used a different camera angle here to show you and that main hinge there will allow it free movement and that's nice and easy once it's all in there you can finally tidy up your cables however you see fit obviously as I said I've got a lot of uh, long cables and I'm leaving these fairly easy but once you've got all these 
You've got a couple more screws just to bob in. These are with an Allen key. And there's a couple of plastic washers there as well. And that just locks the whole thing together so that mounting bracket won't jump off of the arm. And that's it. You can just make your final adjustments to make it a little bit stiffer so there's no wobble to the arm. And here I am just testing it out, making sure there's no more wobble than you'd expect. The arm is fully extended, but obviously once you've got it in place there'll be even less wobble. The great thing is that you don't see any of the cables trailing out from behind this unit going around the corner and out under my desk. You know, I've got this box cable and the corrugated plastic tubing there that you can see. And this just hides it, makes my studio look a bit professional, especially on YouTube as well. You know, I have to consider that for you guys, obviously. And I think that looks absolutely great. And I have the cable going up and into my Ergotron arm as well. And you don't see that really behind the Dell canvas. So here you go. Here's a little look at the Dell canvas on the Dell VESA adapter on the Ergotron arm front to back. And doesn't it look good? I'm really happy with that. Brilliant. So that's it. That's the Dell canvas all set up on the Ergotron arm. And that looks pretty amazing. It's really usable and at the end of the day, I'm really happy with that. I now have a free monitor set up. Uh, yeah, it's spectacular. It's really usable. The only thing I will say about this is obviously it's a bit of a drain on my system. Uh, I could probably do it with a proper desktop now rather than just the laptop. Although this is a significantly powerful laptop it's a Xeon processor 32 gigabytes of RAM with a very powerful graphics card but yeah um at any time that I want to do anything supremely hardcore I can turn off one of my 27 inch drawing tablets I'm not going to use them both of course but I, I might use one for reference images anyway 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 they're both very cool. I have three Ergotron arms here, you know, I have one on my Wacom, I have one on my Dell, and I have one holding up the Precision 5520. Um, yeah, all very cool. This is a supremely awesome setup. I am very, very happy. When the Wacom 32 inch you know, Cintiq Pro comes out, that arm there that the Dell canvas is on is awesome for holding that up. If I was going to get another Ergotron arm for that, I would get the same arm. If you're thinking about that ahead of schedule, schedule, that is the arm to get. So, you know, this tutorial will hold up steady for that. Although I might do another tutorial ahead as well. If you're not interested in the Ergotron arm for the Dell canvas, then I might suggest this, the Dell canvas stand. It is going to be a little pricier. Some people prefer the stand. Obviously, you're not going to have the rotation in there. It's going to have, I understand, again, this is from directly from Dell themselves. This comes from the product manager of the Dell canvas. So, you know, it's pretty reliable information. This should have extra ports and access to ports. Um, so yeah, this looks like a pretty cool piece of uh, kit. And I'm basing this, you know, this is gonna be kind of like the Ergo stand from Wacom. Uh, but this is, you know, Dell's own take on it. I, d I don't want to just class this as a reflection of, you know, Wacom's ergo stand, given the fact that my first thoughts on the Dell canvas were that, you know, this was just a rip-off of the Wacom Cintiq 27QHD, and it's turned out, yeah, it's, it's not exactly 
like the Wacom 27 QHD. So, yeah, maybe the stand won't be exactly like the Ergo stand. But, yeah, yeah I think it's pretty much going to do the same thing. And if you want a stand, there's a stand. It's going to be fairly cool, but I personally prefer the Ergotron arm. You know, for me, I like Ergotron arms, as you well know. You know, just from watching this video, just from seeing the fact that I have, you know, three Ergotron arms already and other Ergotron accessories. You know I'm an Ergotron arm kind of guy. Yeah. Or if you've watched other videos on my channel. That's enough though. Yeah. Um, in other Ergotron news. No, that's all the other Ergotron news I have. In other Dell news. The small Dell Totem, the knob, it's gone bye-bye. It no longer exists. This, you will not see it. It will not come with the Dell canvas. I did not send it back. I'm keeping this. It is a relic of the past. Why? Um, basically, the usage of these boils down to what software developers are going to do with it. And it looks like software developers, while they are going to develop for this and for the surface dial, are not so much going to develop for this. So Dell are basically turning around and saying, you know what, let's not bother with this. And that's fair enough, to be honest. You know, why focus on this? Let's focus on this, especially for the next generation. Yep. So yeah. This is going bye-bye. I'm going to keep hold of mine because I think it's a cool little relic. I would like to see this brought back at some point. I know from talking to Dell that Dell are focusing on different versions. They are looking into versions with buttons and cool alternative versions, kind of pro versions, you know, versions that do other things. And I can't wait to see that. I know they've been looking at other devices and seeing what else they can do. Um, which no one else is really doing, at least that I know of. So yeah, um, that's cool to hear that Dell aren't just kind of sitting on this for the meantime. Yeah. Originally, we were told that Dell were going to launch worldwide all at once. However, it seems now that they've launched in America only and will soon be launching in other territories. I don't exactly know what that means. I'm hoping and presuming that that means that all other territories will be launched at once soon. However, for all I know, that might mean that other territories are launched one by one soon. Bear with me, as soon as I get more news, I will let you know. However, soon we will also see the launch of the stand, uh, maybe other accessories too, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think there's anything else to come, but we will soon see the stand. Hopefully we'll see other offers as well. We never did get a pre-release you know, or on this or any other deals or anything like this. I was quite surprised at that. You know, I only found out pretty much the day before the US launch that we were going to get a launch. And that was, you know, pure coincidence because I happened to email the, the, the brand manager on this. Um, so, yeah, realistically, you know, um, for many of you, you this might this video might be the first thing you're hearing about this. I'd love to know your thoughts on you know, are you gonna go out now? Uh, are you are you gonna pretty much just click on the Dell site and buy this? Uh, are you gonna go on Amazon and buy this? You know, um, I'll put links in the description so you can do this. You know, uh, the Wacom will be coming out, but that's coming out in January. Are you gonna wait around for that? So that's the mystery solved about the Dell Canvas. Does it mount? It's one of the first questions I asked about the Dell Canvas. You know, we originally looked at this and said, 
you know, does it even mount on an Ergotron arm? We know that the original design of the Dell Canvas was supposed to be used flat, you know, for video, for design work, and you know, I said this wasn't very ergonomic, and we've kind of proved that wrong now. And I don't know whether this was Dell kind of coming back in later on and saying, you know what, we should make this more ergonomic. And I think, you know, I think it really works now. You know, I think it's a really strong, a really stable design. And yeah, I I'm completely happy with this. I think as a cost effective 27 inch pen enabled monitor tablet, it's a, a great device. While this isn't 4K, I don't need it to be 4K. It's, it's a beautiful, bright, full RGB display and it works perfectly. If you don't want a monitor that is so high resolution, this is absolutely perfect. So I'm fully happy with this. And I think that the, the size is perfect, the bezel is perfect. I think they just, you know, they're, they're onto an absolute cracking cost-effective tablet. And I think that, you know, along with the Ergotron arm here, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. The Ergotron arm itself was actually the easiest Ergotron arm I've ever put together. You've seen how I've actually routed the cables around my desk. I've had to use the HDMI cable along with the USB cable rather than just using the simple one single USB-C cable, but that's because I, I use the longer cables. But I've hidden them well. And for me, that's nicer and neater than using one cable going over the top of my desk. And it looks so nice, it looks so neat. And yeah, it didn't really take me that long to do. The whole setup took me maybe two hours and that's because I'm videoing it as well. If I wasn't videoing it, yeah, it would have taken me probably about three quarters of an hour. You know, and that's just because I wanted to show it to you guys. I didn't really have to buy that much extra stuff. Just a good quality HDMI cable, a USB extension, and some white, you know, tubing, which all in all came to about 12 pounds, which is about, oh, about $15. And that's only because I bought the good quality stuff. You could probably trim that down to about $10. If you wanna do it in the same way that I've done it and have it looking absolutely awesome, you know, um, and, and have a, an awesome setup like I have behind me, you know, uh, then watch the rest of my videos on this channel and uh, feel free to ask me any questions you want. I do answer pretty much all of my questions as long as they're good questions, you know. And everybody else here in the community is totally awesome as well. So I'm sure, you know, any of these other folks will chip in and help answer as well. So hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. There will be more tablet oriented videos, more tech question videos. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think and I'll speak to you very soon. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and even subscribe to my channel, Lawrence Can Draw. And if you really did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website lawrencemann.co.uk. I'll see you next time.